Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this demo today. In this demo, I'm gonna walk through Immuta's integration with Snowflake Cortex by utilizing some of the new RAG features that they've just released. The data set we're gonna look at today is Enron email data that's related to the Enron investigation that happened in the early 2000s. And here you can see the data set we're looking at that contains emails and lots of information about the email. So you can see things like sender, recipient, subject, and body. And so the first thing that we've actually done with Amuta is that Amuta has pushed in a classification model that takes the subject and the body and basically determines what users are talking about inside of the email. And so if you see this designation field here, this is something Amuta has added to the table that basically tells you what's contained within the email, what's being discussed. So if I run a distinct on this designation column, you'll see all the different designations that we found across all of these emails. And again, in an email, when you have people corresponding, they might be talking about multiple things at once. So Immuta basically will tell you this email was talking about these specific things and it'll give you an array back that gives you a, a basically an overview of all the topics covered. And so if I run a query on the base table here again, you'll see we've actually grouped those into two high level classifications. One is considered classified, which contains information that's relatively sensitive. The other is public, so anything that's not considered sensitive. And so now what we're gonna do in Immuta is basically build policy that utilizes this discovered classification we've created to drive policy on the individual users who might be interacting with this to, to ask a question to an LLM. So the second step that Immuta has done here is we've actually taken this email data and we've chunked it up. So with the introduction of vector columns inside of Snowflake, you're now able to effectively have a question be asked by a prompt, and you're able to actually look up pieces of data that correspond to the question being asked. So if you look at this particular table we're looking at now, you'll notice there's a 739 email ID that's been replicated like six times. And basically what we've done is we've chunked up the body of this email into chunks, and then we've vectorized the data that's actually inside the chunk. And so if you look at the, the chunk vector column here, we now basically have a mathematical representation of the words contained inside of a chunk. So when someone asks a question to an LLM, you can basically look up the related chunks of data that match what the user is actually asking. And then we can send all that information back to an LLM model using Cortex. And so that's what we're gonna walk through today in the demo. So to get started with this, what I wanna do is I wanna jump into Immuta quickly and just show you how we've set this up. So in Immuta, we have the ability to assign classifications and tags. And so here's the actual embeddings table that contains that vector column. And you can see I've tagged this with email IDs, with chunk, with vector, with designation and classification. And so now what we're able to do is we're effectively able to define who gets select access to this table. And when they run queries, what rows or chunks of data will they actually be able to get back? And so to control access at the high level, there's a tag on the table that's called LLM context. And this is gonna drive a policy that determines who gets select access to the data. So if I go look at the policies page inside of Immuta, I've created this Enron LLM data access policy. And this policy is basically saying anyone who's a member of the group LLM users is allowed to select from any table that's been tagged as LLM context. And so that's how my users inside of Snowflake actually got select access to this table. Next, we're gonna take a look at a data policy I've built to filter out restricted data for these emails that are considered confidential. So if I look at this filter restricted LLM data policy, this is basically gonna say, allow users to see rows when they possess an authorized classification that matches that LLM classification column I showed earlier. So this is basically gonna build a policy inside of Snowflake that looks at the current user and figures out what classification they're allowed to see. And then when they try and pass data to Cortex in a prompt, it's actually gonna filter out the chunks of data based on this access that's defined at their user level. And so what that means for an end user now is I can go in and actually create a prompt and ask a question with Cortex. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and run it and then I'll come back and explain what exactly is happening here. But essentially what I've done is I've just set up a bunch of variables. The question is obvious. It's the question we wanna ask the prompt. There's a quality cutoff here that's actually going to say, hey, when we look up the question in chunks, what's the accuracy we want? And then I'm formatting the prompt for how we wanna uh, actually submit this and then we're telling it which model we want to use and so what you're seeing happen here is something you can build by hand in snowflake but Amuta is controlling the actual chunks of data that come back when you ask a question because we've built that row filter policy that looks at the current user to determine what they can see 
And so here's the example of what we actually submitted to the prompt to Cortex. And again, you can see the question that I've asked here, and you can see some additional information I'm adding to format the prompt. But underneath the context, you're gonna see the chunks of emails that actually match what my question said. And now again, this is going to be sent to Cortex using the Mistral large model to actually give a response back. And so if I look at the answer from the model, here's what it says. Yes, there are emails mentioning exotic trading strategies, and it gives a direct quote from one of the emails. And then it summarizes all the different email IDs it actually used to, to make this answer. And so if I go into a different user now that only has access to public information, the answer is going to change. And so here's an example where I'm running a group by on that same table, but because my user has different attributes, they're only able to see public data, and now they're not able to see that classified email data. So now when we go ask a question and run the same CTE as a different user, this user is gonna get different results because when we generate that context to send to Cortex, all of the classified email chunks are going to be removed because this user does not have access and authorization to see that data. So when this comes back, you'll actually see Cortex responding that, hey, we don't find context to the question you're asking, but we may have found something related. So if I pull up the response here, you'll see that this user is querying the same table, but we're actually saying there are no emails in the provided context that explicitly mention exotic trading strategies. And so the reason, again, this is happening is because Immuta created a Snowflake policy that is now filtering what this user has access to, and then it's showing the emails that it actually looked at, which again, don't match the emails the first user was able to access. And so obviously as people start interacting with these LLMs, it becomes super critical to have audit capabilities. And the last part of Immuta basically pulls all the audit records out of Snowflake and classifies them to tell you what people are doing with the data. And so if I pull up that embeddings table, we can get a snapshot into query activity for the users and you can see all the columns that have been involved in the queries and if i drill into one of these you'll actually see the cte query that we just submitted showing how this was actually being accessed and by whom and so with Amuta, you can now start having an end-to-end -end solution that lets you build policy against anything that an llm could be consuming and then providing that comprehensive audit to show who's doing what as well as creating alerts on notifications on query behavior that we're finding in these different systems. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.